Hello, I'm John Hedenberg. Some of my earliest memories include my family every Sunday attending the old Good Shepherd Lutheran Church down on 48th and Cook Street. I was happy to go as a youngster because I was eager to learn more about the stories in the Bible. Each service at the church began with a processional entry, the choir wearing robes, Pastor Benson following behind. At the end of the service, the choir had a recessional, again with the pastor following behind. I remember Sunday school down in the basement of the church. All the kids sang together before breaking into groups. We had workbooks we wrote in. We had marvelous teachers. I remember particularly Julia Gabrielson and John Hitt, who were my first Sunday school teachers. Students had their own offering envelopes. At the end of instruction, the whole group got together again for prayers. In the early 1950s, there were confirmation classes on Wednesday afternoon. After being confirmed, we had Luther League, which met on Sunday nights. In 1956, the Luther League attended the World Luther League Conference at the Conrad Hilton Hotel in Chicago. Later that summer, we officers spent time at a leadership conference down at Gustavus Adolphus. I spent a lot of time at church. On Sunday mornings, it was church. Sunday evenings, Luther League. Monday night was Boy Scouts. Wednesday night was church choir rehearsals. For the last year, on Thursdays after school, we met with Pastor Wellington regarding Luther League activities. On Fridays, many times, I'd come back to church to help mimeograph the church bulletin. You might have guessed at that time I was thinking about becoming a minister. In the late 1950s, after much fundraising, our present church was built. They brought over the big stained glass window that was the front window of the old church. That stained glass window is now hanging in the stairwell of our church that goes down into the basement. Over the years, my relationship with God has been important to me. A couple of months ago, I had triple bypass surgery. Before surgery, I wondered if I'd ever see Marion or my family again. If not, I knew I was ready to see the face of God. I was praying as they brought me into surgery. The surgery was a success. Six days after coming home from the hospital, our son Jack flew in for five days to help. Now that surgery changed me. Now I realize how important our immediate family is. I have a new rule at our house. No member of our immediate family can leave the front door without a hug. I'm nearly 80 years old. I've lived in Duluth most of my life and attended Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. Since retiring, Marion and I spend our winters in Florida, but summers we're back here in Duluth attending church here. I'm grateful to have a church family in my life. Thank you all for being a part of that church family.